It's day 18 and we're back to, back to another AMRAP. So that is as many rounds as you can do in a set period of time. We have three exercises again today. We have your Russian twists, we have your press-ups and then we also have a new exercise called scissors. So you're going to do your 10 Russian twists and remember you can do it with your heels on the floor, your heels off the floor or with a weight and it's going to be 10 each side. Again, remember this is not about going super fast, it's about keeping it nice and controlled, keeping that back straight and then leaning back. You want to avoid your shoulders getting hunched over and your, your back rounding, your spine rounding. So keep it nice and controlled, even though you're working against the clock, you're doing your 10 reps each side and if you have a weight, you can add it on. After your Russian twist, you're going to go into your press-ups and remember you can do them on against the wall, against a sturdy surface like a couch. Or you can do it on your knees and your feet. And remember, as you progress through your arm wrap, you can change the type of press-up you do because you may start on your knees and then progress to the wall as you get more tired. After you've done your 10 press-ups, you're going to go into a new exercise, which is called scissors. So you're going to be on your back. You're going to tuck your hip bones up to your rib bones. And scissors is basically crossing your feet across each other. You want to make sure you're, nothing's in the way. Cross your feet over each other and what you can see me doing here is moving. Now you can do your scissors in the one spot or you can move them like this. This is the most challenging version. Keeping it in the one spot at the top is the easiest version and then keeping it in the one spot lower down is slightly harder. When you do 10 reps, you're just going to count them in your head, so 10 crossovers. So it won't take long this one, but it is quite challenging, particularly on the lower core. Once you've done your 10 scissors, that's your one round complete and you're back to the start. So you're doing 10 Russian twists, 10 press-ups, 10 scissors, that's one round complete. And you're going to see how many rounds you can get in the allocated amount of time. Good luck.